YouTube Lecture 1 Good day ladies and gentlemen. We are here today to share our knowledge on the research that was done by our group. My name is Drive. Hassan Endan, author of The Origin of Malay and the Research Group Leader. Part 1 Our approach is to define the methodology used and the type of equipment and apparatus that is most suitable in our discovery. Then we plan on the collection of data. Sampling plan and samples taken are to the best of our knowledge. The initial approach and assumptions made are Approach 1 Scientific Study Approach 2 DNA Approach 3 Holy Books of Abraham Let us start by explaining the DNA age determination. DNA calculations are based on 1 slash number of mutations occurred 2 slash mutation only on the mother. YouTube Lecture 1 The age determination using DNA has been used, and the ages determined using the number of mutations occurred. We call this the mitochondrial clock. Using this method we assume that 1 slash mtDNA is derived exclusively from the mother, and 2 slash the mutation rates associated with mtDNA have remained constant over time. The movie shown here were the research done by Professor Drive. Adama and Drive. Oppenheimer from National Geographic Channel. The following movie appeared on the National Geographic Channel. The Real Eve. The part on Origin of Melee, which appeared about 10 minutes was shown here. Please note that the ages are different by recalibrating the mtDNA clock. Our migration begin after Prophet Noah Ark, and the origin began from the Middle East, not Africa. Continue past the Gulf, moving east, beach combing their way along the coast of the Indian Ocean, looking for warmer, gentle places to stop. Within 6,000 years of reaching the Yemen beaches, our ancestors would eat their way to Malaysia. Six thousand miles from Africa, our family are deep in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia. These are the descendants of Eve, hunting in the jungles of Malaya. Roaming in small bands, staying in one place long enough to reap the harvest of wildlife and then moving on. Their bodies are beginning to adapt to the rainforest conditions. Away from the harsh African sun, their skins become lighter, their stature reduced by lack of meat. Like hunter-gatherers in the jungle today, they live on fish, rats, squirrel, and lizards, on canopy game, fruits, and roots. They disguise and camouflage themselves to conform to the foliage and imitate animal calls to deceive their quarry. Life in the forest is shared with venomous snakes, cobras, pythons, and predatory animals. Between leaving Africa and arriving in Australia, there's no clear archaeological evidence of the presence of modern humans or their amazing migration. No skulls, no skeletons or graves. Sea levels were 160 feet lower, so whatever our family left behind on their coastal journeys have been reclaimed by the sea. The genetic trail is all we have. It's not until we reach Malaysia that new evidence begins to fill in the gaps. Toba eruption in Sumatra 74,000 years ago was the single biggest explosion in the last two million years. The plume was 25 miles high and plunged much of the world into six dark years of volcanic winter.
northern Malaysia, India, and the Middle East were covered in a deadly shroud of thick volcanic ash. Toba explosion, the most destructive event in the last two million years, provides positive clues about our family's journey. These are the Samang people, shy hunter-gatherers of the interior jungles in the Lake Peninsula. Much darker than the other Malaysian people who surround them, they are part of the Orang Asli group. Stephen Oppenheimer thinks they could be the surviving remnant of our out-of-Africa family that came through here 74,000 years ago. If our ancestors had passed this way on their route from Africa to Australia and New Guinea, it's likely they would have left a genetic trace. And we know from previous surveys that the Orang Asli, as a group of tribes in the Malay Peninsula of Malaysia, are among the oldest people in this region. And the Samang are probably the oldest of all. Stephen Oppenheimer has come to this remote Samang village to collect swab samples of DNA. These, he hopes, will confirm his idea. If my theory is correct, that they left Africa 80,000 years ago, they would have had to have traveled 6,000 miles to get here in 6,000 years in order to be here at the time of the Great Toba explosion. That means about a mile a year, which is entirely feasible for that sort of uh, nomadic lifestyle of uh, moving down the coast. But to determine whether or not they belong to that first out of Africa group, we need to look at their genetic lines and in particular, their mitochondrial DNA, those will tell us whether or not they come straight out of the two daughters of Eve that originated just outside Africa. If they have their own unique lines, that suggests they've been isolated since that time, 70 or 80,000 years ago, and that they have developed completely on their own. If, on the other hand, we might even find that their lines are ancestral to people further down the line, like the Australians or the New Guineans. Again, our genetic tracing will help us to see whether or not that's the case. 
The genetic survey may prove the Samang are an ancient race, but it can't tell us exactly when they were here. We have to look for other evidence to validate the theory. These crude tools were found in a wooded valley called Kota Tampan near Penang. There are other sites nearby with the same sort of tools. What makes these so particularly interesting is they are embedded in a fall of Toba ash dated 74,000 years ago. Professor Zoraina Majid was looking for an ancient river terrace when she stumbled upon the Kota Tampan site. What Professor Majid had actually found was a stone tool workshop, which could be pinpointed to 74,000 years ago. The ash covered the working floor. That ash has been dated to 74,000 years ago. This is a hammer stone that they used and you can see that it's very comfortable to hold it in the hand and this is the edge that was used. This is a chopper, a type that's um, seen in a lot of um, Asia and Southeast Asia. They, what they were after was the edge angle. The edge angle had to be right and um, the edge had to be sharp. This is used for heavy duty work. It's heavy, it's got a sharp edge, probably for felling trees. Majid is convinced that they were left by modern man. Kota Tampan also revealed man who had a complex mind. His stone tool technology revealed a rational, systematic and organized mind, the mind of Homo sapiens. These Kota Tempan tools are crucial for the dating of modern man's presence in Southeast Asia. They are the first tangible evidence we have of the whole journey from Africa to Australia. Combined with Stephen Oppenheimer's genetic tests, they could be real proof of our ancient migration. Has he found the evidence he needs? For the first time, archaeology and genetics gives us the same answer at this crucial point in our journey. Now we can be sure that our ancestors came this way 74,000 years ago. The results are very exciting. The Orang Asli, the Samung group here, have their own unique genetic lines which suggest that they may have been in that first beachcombing trip 75,000 years ago. They have their own unique lines coming out of the first two daughters of Eve outside Africa. And they trace right back there and are not shared with anyone else in Southeast Asia or in East Asia. At that time, the sea levels were 160 feet lower. Most of the islands of Southeast Asia were joined together into the single landmass of the Sunda continent. Chapter 1 By recalibrating the mitochondrial clock, the mitochondrial DNA appears to mutate much faster than expected, and therefore, he, the mother of all human beings, would be about six years old. Based on this study, Eve lived about six years ago, the Perakman, the Malay origin, about four three hundred years ago, and in Sarawak, the Nyak man lived four three hundred years ago. The Malay are direct descendant from Prophet Noah. 
the question and answer session is very important. With this knowledge you will have a good knowledge of human origin. The detail is explained in our book. The Origin of Malay. This book is the best seller because every time you read this book it changes and you will get and gain something new.